Libras. All right, Libras, let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see if you are still balanced out and let's see if you are still at peace with your decisions, Libras. All right. Okay, Libras, we started out this cycle in your sign and we had a new moon in Libra during eclipse season, right? And so let's make sure we run this all the way to the end of, even though this video is for the um, 18th through the um, through the 25th, we're going to run it all the way to the end, right? Because this whole cycle ends on the 31st of October. So let's get into it. Let's just make sure you all are still, things are flowing to you the way they need to flow to you. Let's get it. All right, Libras. All right, you pray over your cards and see your money growing. I see your money growing. Talking to you wherever Libra is in your birth chart. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Lover's card. We also have the Chariot card. We also have the Magician card. And we also have the Judgment card. All right. So, Seven. Seven is the number for completion. Once you complete something, like once you stop growing people's money or like growing something that you're investing in because you're talking about planting seeds and something growing right you see in this plant right here when you stop watering other people's energy or their money or like you stop giving something then it will expose something it will expose right and you have a you have the reason why you're not sweating anything is because you have an ancestor that's basically like when it comes to money material possessions legacy um you see these two great dogs right here? There's gray area, right? This is why you're not a person who is highly creative. You're creating more room for sources, actually creating more room for your money to grow. So here we have the lover's card. So this is, the decision has already been made. You have already made a decision to, again, take the high road. I love it. Here's a chariot card here. So source is actually rewarding you for taking your power back for taking your power back here's the magician card people see security and protection around material possessions differently you know some people may feel like hey they're only going wherever it's going to grow their money and some people feel like wow okay your love language could be different right you're not judging them and you, you're not under their judgment so congratulations and that's what that's why things are in your favor that is why things are in your favor because you're taking a very positive attitude on things. You just never know what kind of family people come from, even if you have kids in this other side of the family, you know, and what they may have inherited from the other side of the family, what they may have heard, whatever. So source is saying to you, you're moving on. Even with your siblings, when you, when it comes to your siblings, some siblings will be like, they want to, money is what's most important to them or material possessions. If something they left in a will or whatever for you, you may say, hey, you know how to create and grow your own money. So that's why somebody is not sweating something, something here. So this is a good thing. This is a good thing. You all remember too, Libras, that you all are ruled by a feminine planet, the, the goddess of love, Venus, right? So there are a lot of people who think everything comes easy, maybe because of the way you look, because of your gifts and talents, whatever it is. But the energy of money is very attracted to you. Actually, Venus rules your sign and Taurus, but in different ways. You all can look it up, you know, in your spare time. But yeah, the main thing here is about balance. You're not asking for more than what you put into all of your relationships. And if it's not, if it's not balanced out for you, as far as you're concerned, you're moving on. You're taking things off of your internal scales and moving on. Yep, here we have the six of cups here. So yeah, that's what that's what it is. Somebody's moving on in childlike faith. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, here we have the strength card. You've learned how to heal yourself. And I see you moving on in a very meek way. Very meek way. Yep, there it is. Eight of cups. Head and heart are no longer at war with each other. You have broken it, broken a chain, broken a cycle, and move on. There it is. Six of um, pentacles. So I see you receiving something. Sources like giving you some kind of an approval for something, right? To grow your money, to move on to. I guess somebody is creating either a new, you're creating a new legacy. So something has ended. That's the seven, right? There's no need for you to be on the dark side of the seven asking why. Other people may be asking why, like what happened, whatever. So it's the same. Your head and heart are not at war with each other. So when you toss something into a burning bowl, go outside and get some fresh air under that big medicine ball. That's fire also. That's the sun. Make a decision. Be okay with your decision and move on. Somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot. Yep. Nine of cups. Yeah. Because for 
anybody who is connected to all parts of their birth chart and Venus being the goddess of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, those kind of things, the more and more you keep giving and giving and giving, that means you're taking away from something you live in your, your life, right? And so you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't give what you don't have. So sources say when you're around energies who are showing you, they seem like everything comes so easy for you, but they're taking advantage of that Libra. That's when you say, no, 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 no. You have a Venus in your birth chart to get connected with that part of yourself's Venus and see how that's going to work for you. That's the beauty of birth charts. <laughs> that's the beauty of birth charts. A pull of your birth chart. So you might going to feel like they hit the jackpot. Justice and judgment in your favor. And it's not always court justice. It could be like more, you know, like spirit um, justice, right? So, yeah, source is saying you are source is saying to you, it's okay to go ahead and cut off energies that you feel are vain and vengeful or have judged you based on how you grow your money or how you created a life for yourself and then vice versa. So, yeah, move on. Move on. That's right. You're leaving behind a lot of distractions. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. You're leaving behind a lot of distractions. What's interesting is about this here is once you close your vault door, the source has already approved you, but once you close your vault door, all are left of whatever memories people want to have of you. So if their memories of you is a something negative, let them have that. Let them have that. But your doors are closed, your vault door is closed to that. Some people like to keep their business out in the open to show people, see, I did something despite, you know, other people talking trash, right? You created this life for yourself despite other people talking trash. To each his own, to each his own. Yeah, your star in your own right. You found your star and you've moved on. Yeah, you found your star and you've moved on. So yeah, leaving behind distractions. Here we have the seven of wands here. So I see you have a, somebody has a gift of telepathy. So in your prayer and your meditation life, looking at your cards here, I do see you, um, you know, your core is strong. So somebody could be just like you getting your solar plexus chakras in alignment. That's right. You're going to feel like you have a whole new lease on life. I love it. All right now, Libras, look at you. Somebody could be signing a new lease because, again, I see you building. Somebody could be building a new legacy here is what I'm seeing here. And Source has already approved of that legacy for you to build. So... Yeah, when when you have decided, here we have the cut energies out. Like I said, vain, vengeful, green with envy energies who are just wired that way and whoever they're around, they're wired that way. So it's the same. When you close that door, you are not opening it back up. So this is the, the decision that you have made to focus on loving yourselves. Yep, here we have the Knight of Pentacles here. You're a hardworking person. So that's right. Getting back to work. People sit, hold you in very high regard. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles. People see you as a hardworking person regardless. They see you as a person kind of like a hermit crab that kind of do, only leaves the house whenever there's a purpose to leave the house. You know how, you know, some people that just like only leave the house if they're getting gas or groceries or you have errands to run and then you go right on back in the house and you continue building whatever it is you're building. So that's what people actually are going to know you for is just saying, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be a part of a circus. Like you want to live whatever your life is in peace behind closed doors. Somebody's going to, or however people remember you, you have no control over that. You have no control over that. But I do see, I do see things in your favor and you closing your vault door. That's what I see. That's what I see. All right. So, all right. So yeah, this is your year. This is your year. Like I said, a lot of great things are happening for you all. And it, it depends on, a lot of it has to depend on really, because your, your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. So if you're the type of person that says, hey, I mean, unless you, unless you, your life is kind of sort of in front of cameras, you know, like some, like a celebrity or whatever, where people will see things getting better or they'll see things however they go, right? But if you're a person who is not necessarily a person who is kind of like out you know, like in the public eye for uh, like you have a public uh, image or whatever the case may be. The people who are kind of sort of getting to know you, this is your this is your time to, I guess, move on in peace. People know you as being a hardworking person. They know you as down to earth and relatable. 
Um, but remember, there is gray area when it comes to security protection and those kind of things. And so that's what somebody has really kind of sort of learned is that how you're wired and also how other people are wired, right? So, yeah, people are going to think what they want to think about you. So it's to say, hey, what they think of you is zero concern, but what you think of yourself is most important. So this is nice. Let's see, we got a few more cards for you, Libras, and we're going to close this out. But yeah, so yeah, a lot of wonderful things are happening for you this year. A lot of wonderful things are happening for you this year. And some people, like I said before, they, their worth is determined by their physical possessions, their material possessions. For you, you may feel like, hey, thing, things do come to you. And so this is your opportunity for all that you've invested in other people to now invest in yourselves. You're going to see how your life changes when you kind of come out of the uh overthinking and that, that would be all air signs you aquarius gemini when y'all come out of the kind of over of like putting all this time into overthinking something you're going to see how things just come to you how people are going to want to do things for you this is the king of uh, coins here yeah you're going to see just how wealthy you really are just how many opportunities you have and people are going to what people like what it looks like things are coming full circle the assumption that people have that things come so easy for you, everything is going to... You're going to start seeing how your ruling planet plays a huge role in just how you may have invested way too much energy into people who, once you stop, that's when you see, saw the vain, vengeful, green with envy monster come out, disrupting your peace came out. So Source is saying to you, once you see that, and especially since you're already a hardworking person, people see you as down to earth and relatable. And they say that you, they say that you see that you have a wealth of something. You have wealth of creativity in this case right here. So it's just saying to you, you're going to see how all of those things are working together for your good, right? So sometimes other people see things on you that you don't see for whatever. And they see something that you don't see. So like I said, things are in your favor. Congratulations. Here we have, here we have the um, page of uh, swords. So I feel like your whatever anxiety you may have been having, it's been coming to an end very, very soon. Yeah, source is freeing you from something. Source is seeing you from freeing you from two energies that you had on blindfolds. You just could not see it. Here we have the um, two of swords here. So if you're at an impasse about anything, I'm telling you, your things are. Um, where's the card? If you're at an impasse about anything, Source has already approved it for you. Source say, hey, look, you got two, hold on, you got two approvals coming through for you from Source. So that's where you want it to come from Source, and it's going to happen fast. Here we have the Eight of Wands here. Yep, Eight of Wands here. So two things in particular are closed out already. Two things are closed out. You're victorious. Source is about to say, so somebody could be taking a flight somewhere, whatever it is you're doing, but it's going to happen fast. And you're going to have, you feel like, okay, you have complete and total clarity of thought. Yeah, that's going to push you right to the king of swords and just see how your metamorphosis went. Like you've gone from this cocoon to this, this butterfly, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you. You've learned how to heal yourself from two types of energies. It's like you've come out of a lion's den, of people who just lie. I mean, like, unfortunately, and I'm trying to put keep it as positive as possible, but it's like people who just lie, lie, lie about everything. You're just like, oh, my God. So, yeah, there you are. There you are. It's all good for you all. Um, Leavers looking at your car. Sources approved two areas of your life that you prayed for is happening fast for you. It's like sources fast tracking. I do see somebody flying somewhere or going somewhere. I'm on this adventure, and uh, life is just about to get much better for you all. So that's what it's about. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so and I do see soulmate energy coming into your life, soulmate. Again, it's going to add to head and heart, no longer being at war with each other. Soulmate is not always romantic, just so we're crystal clear. So here we have the Six of Swords. You're just moving on from past disappointments. You're traveling light through life, right? While other people are going through their rite of passage, so are you. So Source is saying you're taking the memories of your ancestors with you as you're getting settled, like kind of getting settled into a new legacy that you're creating. I love it. Somebody's getting married. Here we have the Four of Wands. You're celebrating something. Celebrating something. Something's going to feel like home for you. You're celebrating. Yeah, something is going to feel like home for you. Something is going to feel like home for you. 
and you are determined to get to wherever it is, right? So you feel happy, charismatic, and free, but something is going to feel like home for you. Something is going to feel like, um, I feel like you're, you're, what was I saying? What I'm looking for? Happy. I feel like you're charismatic. I feel like you're free. That's what I'm feeling like looking at your cards here. You're on this adventure in life. Here we have you planting seeds. It's harvest time for you all. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right. This card's looking good. Card's looking good, Libras. Card's looking good. I'm telling you, it would be your in your your see the, when you talk about ruling planets and it's like your sign and somebody else's sign is ruled by the you want to look at how their sign is how their the the planet rules their zodiac sign and also how it rules your zodiac sign. Like I said, in this case right here, you and Taurus are ruled by Venus, the goddess of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, aesthetics. But you also want to see how remember Taurus is a divine feminine energy. And Venus is a feminine planet, right? You are a divine masculine sign, but you're ruled by a feminine planet. So Venus rules you all differently. And that is what you want to pay attention to. You want to look at the details of things and how it, your ruling planet rules you. So here we have your ancestors have a message. Oh, somebody's in a crisis. Who's in a crisis? Um, the spy is now turned on. Whoever was spying on you, they're now turned on. But yeah, so but somebody's in a crisis right now. But heal people just move differently. Your ancestors are proud of you. You're a star in your own right. But star symbol, star really speaks to uh, star slash sun sign. Hope, bliss, optimism for everybody. Some people will wait for success, you know. And then some people, they say, hey, listen, you create your own definition of it, right? So... Some people just sit back and wait for other people to tell them that they're successful, that they're good enough, that they're this and that. But some people go out and say, okay, you're here for a reason. The creator created you for a reason. So, hey, that's what you're going to. Okay, what, what's my assignment today, source? <laughs> right? So, anyway, I see you closing out cycles in love and moving on from something. But, yeah, everything in moderation. Yeah, what I say? Somebody has a python spirit. Yeah, so somebody's still telling lies about you, but at this point, you don't really care because... Your, document your dreams day and night. Document your dreams day and night. A lot of things are coming coming to pass for you. A lot of wonderful things are happening for you. So that's what you're focusing on. A lot of people are going to look at you all and feel like they, they still want to assume everything comes easy for you. But you worked hard for whatever it is you have. You worked very hard for it. There it is. Abundance. And I cannot lose what is mine by divine right. All good things come in due time. I operate by faith, not fear. Everything I need for success is within me. I am the key. There it is. Everybody is the key to their own success. So your cards look great. They look absolutely great. So it's hashtag winning for you. Forgiveness. I forgive myself. I am healing from past trauma. I release all guilt. I forgive hurt done by others. I accept that I cannot change the past. Anger does not control my mind. I release all sadness. I'm grateful for every experience. I'm stronger because of my challenges. Yeah. Yep, you're stronger. Somebody went from, like I said, you all have a good heart, but somebody went from being overly indecisive. Just keep investing and investing and investing in everybody else around you because people and people start saying, oh, things just come easy for them. They, they always have money. They always have this. They always, they always bounce back. But then... Source is saying to you, though, some of those same energies, when you stopped, immediately showed you. That's when you really saw the vain and vengeful spirit come out. Like, okay, if they're not giving something to whoever you were giving something to, whether it was a spouse, siblings, whoever it was, that's when they their mind started passing. So, well, if they're not giving it to them, whoever you were giving it to, then you must be giving it to somebody else. So that's where that vain and vengeful spirit came out. So... Again, like I said, once you see it, don't unsee it. <laughs> once you see it, do not unsee it because it'll be worse. So, yeah, that's why the spy is again turned on because things you just keep reinventing yourselves, Libras. Y'all just keep reinventing yourselves. And energies are like, oh, they down for the count. Then you boing like that toy. <laughs> you just jump, just pop back up, right? So, again, 24. You're generous. Here we have 24. I am generous. You have a heart of gold and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you are in and 
Let me see. You're loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Yeah. So once you cut ties, remember 24 is uh, 6, 2 and 4 is 6. Once you cut ties with energies who show you that they will, they will go to whatever lengths to limit your abundance and your prosperity. Once you cut ties, so it's just like that's trying to reattach an umbilical cord. Like, good luck with that. So it's saying you just cut ties emotionally and physically cut ties. Just cut ties emotionally because that, that's what I'm saying. You creating a new, a new legacy. I see you creating a brand new legacy for you. So I love it. All right. That is what I have for you. That is what I have for you, Libras. Thank you for joining me. Like I said, this is still your year. Keep making some things happen for you. You're going to feel very lucky. This is uh, Jupiter, which is currently retrograde. This is the will of the year. This is Jupiter. Well, you're going you're gonna to see just how really blessed, highly favored, lucky, fortunate you are. You're going to see just how fortunate you are and just how many, um, how much you've invested into other people. And so now when you start investing in yourself, that's when you're going to start seeing this stuff just take off in your personal, your professional life like a rocket. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.